Uh, sometimes I think that my student is so stupid that they don't know they have to read the sentence very carefully. So usually they just attracted by some numbers. So when they they find 10 cm, then they can label it like this. But even though it's just talking about one very short sentence, they don't read carefully. They say that BD is the angle bisector. Bisect that means separate to equal parts. Cut that angle evenly. So therefore, this is 25, which means that another right-hand side is also 25 degrees. And then in part A, we are requested to find out length BC here. Together with our target, uh, now we have to identify we have three triangles. The smaller one, another smaller triangle, and also finally the whole uh, triangle here. It's obviously we should consider the large triangle uh, is more convenient. Even though if we just look at triangle ABD, we can get BD easily. But even if we get BD, uh, we still not have enough information to get BC. So the only method is you consider the largest triangle. So uh, please make the decision to focus on which triangle you should think about first. So when we look at this triangle, we just draw it in our draft. It's very important step uh, to isolate any useless information. So we have 10 cm, we have 70 degree, and then we have this angle is 50 degree. Our target is BC here. So including two angles and two sides, obviously we are going to apply side formula. For side formula here, uh, if we use BC as our target, BC towards side opposite angle, so side 70 degree, should equal to something which is, uh, we know the length is 10, divided by a certain angle. Now the problem is what is this angle? So we should get angle ACB first. Angle ABC is equal 180 degree minus 70 degree minus 50 degree is equal 60 degree. So this is 60 degree. So BC is equal to 10 times sine 70 degree divided by sine 60 degree. We just uh, change BC be the subject first, and then we have clear mind what we are going to input in our calculator. Then we use calculator just getting this value. We get this number. And then we finish part A. Now the problem is part B. We fold this paper along uh, BD, and then it's come up, and then A, B, and BC keep remaining on the ground, uh, like the graph here. And then they say that the distance between these two points, uh, the straight line is become 6 cm. We are going to find out angle ABC. ABC here. This is quite straightforward. Uh, when we find about angle ABC, of course, we are considering the triangle in the horizontal ground. But it's not good to just look in this way. We should draw it from top view. So imagine that you are from the top and then look perpendicular to the plane. So we have maybe something like this ABC. We have AC is 6 cm. Now the key point is AB is just the same as AB here. So this is also 10 cm. And also we can use the outcome from part A. Our target is to get angle ABC. If you draw in 2D diagram, it's just simply so straightforward. This time we're talking about one, two, three, three lines with one angle. So obviously we are going to apply the cosine formula here. Just be aware that your target angle, the opposite side must be labeled as C because they are opposite to each other. Uh, make sure you write down the bracket first, something square is equal to something square plus something square minus two something something cosine something. So this time our angle that we want, it should be called not theta but angle ABC. The corresponding opposite side is 6, so we write down 6 square here, and also 10 and BC. Uh, I write BC because I don't want to write this long decimal only, but you can just simply store in your calculator. And remember, don't use your calculator until you make this be the subject, otherwise you mess up everything. So we just change the subject first. 20 BC cosine angle ABC is equal to 10 square plus BC square minus 6 square. So therefore, cosine 
angle ABC is equal to 10 square plus BC square minus 6 square. Divide both sides by 20 BC. So arts cosine is the opposite to chase back what is the corresponding angle to give you that ratio. So therefore we are going to use calculator for this and you should store this value into A and then when you need to use this just apply A directly. Again uh, use the calculator get the value is 33.1 degrees. And now come to the most difficult part. We are going to find the angle between the plane A, B, D and also B, C, D. It's difficult to imagine. But basically the key point is when we talk about the angle between two planes, we have to find some line to represent each plane. And to represent it, you have to consider the intercept line. And then we have to draw maybe here from here uh, perpendicularly. Then we can use this red line to represent the uh, plane ABD. Similar reason we do the same for another part. If we draw a perpendicular line here, so this orange line represents that the plane BCD. So once we talk about the angle between the planes, and basically we are talking about the angle between these two representatives, that means between these two lines. So we are trying our very best to find out what is this angle here, and we have to consider the cross section. Uh, beware that uh, you can start drawing from vertex A or you just simply start from somewhere between A and B is totally fine. But the key point is that line must be perpendicular to the line of intersection here. Of course it's easier to handle by using the plane here. So if I need to draw a perpendicular line to BD, so I have to draw from point A there. I will draw it like this and also uh, the same contact point, we are going to draw it perpendicularly to BD and also towards this line. Then another line is like this. So it's better let a point here and here. So maybe A, B, C, D, E, F. I let the point be E and F respectively. So if we draw back that two representative to the 3D diagram, then red line may be like this perpendicular to it and also we have a blue line perpendicular to it like this so afterward uh we are trying to find out this angle let's say it's called theta let's say it's called theta here and then we try to find out this angle by using the triangle cross section triangle here so again we can get the length of red line because it's a just right angle triangle uh, we just use suitable ratio with angle, right angle, triangle, and also hypotenuse. Opposite to hypotenuse, we are going to use sine ratio. So by some draft, you know that AE is equal to 10 times of sine 25 degrees. We have the length of the red line is one third of the triangle that we need. So second thing are uh, similar. Uh, we are going to get the blue line, but we don't have this length. So the best method is we use 10 to get BE. When we get BE, we try to get EF afterward. So now we are trying to get BE. Similar reason is 10, but this time we use uh, adjacent and hypotenuse. We are going to use cosine ratio, cosine 25 degrees. And also ES is EF is opposite together with adjacent. We are going to build up a tangent ratio. Tangent 25 degrees should equal to the opposite side, which means our target EF. Divided by adjacent side, BE, which is 10 times of cosine 25 degrees. So EF is equal to 10 cosine 25 degrees, tangent 25 degrees. If you know about trigonometric ratio, then you know it should be 10 sine 25 degree. But even if you don't know, it's fine. Just simply use the value, use the calculator here. Uh, usually I don't allow the student to write down two equal sign in one single row, but uh, I'm teacher, so it's fine. So we get these two value and then it's come to the most difficult part is how we get the black line here so that we can use the cross section triangle in order to get the angle between those two lines, that means the angle between those two planes. We remind that this point is E while this point is F. Our target is to get AF here. 
And then if I draw on this, this is the top view to look at the horizontal ground. We have A, B, C here. F, it seems like we just go uh, this direction. So I draw the black line here. And then we the contact at F. Don't forget that in part B, the first part, you already find out the angle between this. So it's really useful. This angle is known 33.1 degrees. So now the question is, if we have BF, then we can uh, solve the whole triangle ABF here. So we want to find BF by using similar logic. We already have BE. So by using cosine, adjacent, and hypotenuse, we can get BF. So and then we put it in here. Adjacent to hypotenuse, so we are talking about cosine ratio. Cosine 25 degree is BE divided by BF. So cosine 25 degree is equal to BE divided by BF. BF is equal to we use BE divided by cosine 25 degrees. And we have BE here. Then we get back 10. So it's quite obvious because uh, these two signs are symmetric, uh, even though the graph doesn't like this. But uh, this is 25, this is 25 right angle. So this is isosceles triangle, basically. So now we can start to get AF, our final key. Uh, one, two, three, three sides together with one angle. Of course, we are going to use cosine ratio. So we consider triangle ABF. We have AF square is equal to 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10. Cosine the angle between which is cosine angle ABC. Then we get our AF square, then we just simply take square root. We get the final key. So now we have all the information. We have A. E, we have EF, we have AF, so we are going to get the angle. So we have to draw the triangle AEF. Our final mission is to get this theta. So we write down, uh, once again, perform the cosine formula. We have AF square is equal to AE square plus EF square minus 2AE times EF time cosine theta. This is our target. So change the subject. Cosine theta is equal to AE square plus EF square minus AF square divided by 2 times of AE time EF. After that, we just simply shift cosine. That means arts cosine will get the value of that angle. Then we get 84.8437962 something degree. And don't forget that no one knows what is theta. You have to answer very clearly the angle between those planes are this. So basically for seven marks, this is very troublesome questions. And you need to have the clear mind be uh, about the definition, the angle between two planes.